Hey everybody, meteorologist Sarah Spivey here. I just want to give you some information on the potential for severe weather tomorrow. That's Thursday, April 9th. So first thing we'll start with is the Storm Prediction Center's outlook for Thursday. And what you can see is that uh, San Antonio is in yellow there and all of those counties in yellow are under a slight risk for severe weather. That's a two on a scale of one to five. And then in that orange zone, southeast of San Antonio, that's an enhanced risk for severe weather or a three on a scale of one to five. So what are we looking at here? Well, storms could produce large hail and damaging wind gusts tomorrow, but really large hail seems to be the most likely scenario if a storm becomes severe. When would that happen? Well, that would happen Thursday afternoon or in the early evening hours, especially along and east of I-35. Again, right where that orange area is, that's the best chance for severe weather tomorrow. So I'll show you the future cast. What's going to fire all of this off is a cool front, which will begin moving through the KSAT 12 viewing area in the midday hours. Again, that front will make it to San Antonio in the early afternoon. That's when we'll see a broken line of storms develop. And it's within that broken line of storms that some of those storms could be on the stronger side or severe side capable of producing hail or gusty winds. Uh, then as we head into the late evening hours, we'll really see our storm chances diminish behind that front. And it'll actually be a lot cooler uh, in the second half of the evening there uh, on Thursday tomorrow. So just just to give you a, a timeline, right around noon tomorrow, we're not going to see many storms around San Antonio. Some storms will start developing west of San Antonio, but between about 2 p.m. and 6 p.m., that's the best time frame for storms around San Antonio, about 60%, and that's when those storms could be on the severe side as well. After around sunset and after sunset, we'll start to see our rain chances diminish and we should be done with the severe weather for the day. So what storm threats are we talking about? Well, again, Thursday afternoon into the early evening, hail, is going to be the biggest threat with these storms. Hail potentially the size of golf balls or larger is going to be possible. Wind gusts, especially right along the line where those storms are starting to develop of up to 65 miles per hour, 70 miles per hour going to be possible. We're slightly worried about flooding just because we've seen so much rain recently. And if you get a heavy downpour in one area that maybe just stays there for a while, that could lead to some flooding issues. And there is a very low tornado threat but it is not zero so just want to let you know that again the biggest concerns with any severe storms would be large hail greater than golf balls and wind gusts of up to 70 miles per hour even larger so then after those storms move through on Thursday Friday is actually gonna be a lot cooler because of that front that moves through so Friday gonna be cloudy we'll have isolated rain and a high temperature only in the upper 60s Saturday we see the return of chance for storms but not as great of a chance tomorrow and then into the week, we're going to get a front that will arrive uh, late Easter, and that will really allow for a beautiful start to next week. We're actually going to clear out by Easter. It will be on the warmer side, but then early next week, highs will only be in the 60s. We'll continue to update you on the severe threat tomorrow. Of course, you can always catch us on the KSAT 12 Weather Authority app. For now, I'm meteorologist Sarah Spivey.